British MPs are spearheading a crackdown on government transparency, trying to make it more difficult for UK citizens or journalists to request info under the Freedom of Information Act. Our TUK correspondent, Isali, will bring us the details. So, um, Isa, an attempt to restrict the information flow, so it seems. What exactly are they planning? Tell us more. Well, following on from the revelations last week, uh, that just before the Freedom of Information Act came into power in January, to, came into force in January 2005, Downing Street had installed automated systems which uh, automatically deleted emails after three months. The Financial Times is now reporting that Britain's new Justice Secretary, Michael Gove, wants to introduce proposals uh, that would make it more difficult for British citizens to get information from their own government. Now, one of these proposals includes making it more difficult uh, for uh, ministers, oh, sorry, making it easier for ministers to veto any requests by the public uh, for such information. And we saw earlier this year the government losing an attempt uh, to block the release of letters written by Prince Charles uh, to various government ministries. Uh, and the government keen to ensure that that doesn't happen uh, again by making it harder for judges uh, to block any government attempts at vetoes. Uh, another proposal is to change the way uh, the costing of a freedom of information request request is calculated. Currently, if a request costs a government ministry more than £600 uh, to process, the government can refuse uh, to actually release that information. So uh, uh, the uh, report saying that Mr Gove either wants to make it uh, to bring down that limit or he wants to include the time it takes to think about a request uh, within the financial costing. Uh, but this law came in not under this government, but as we mentioned earlier, under the government of Tony Blair. And he himself later expressed his regret at ever bringing it in. You idiot. You naive, foolish, irresponsible nincompoop. There is really no description of stupidity, no matter how vivid, that is adequate. I quake at the imbecility of it all. Well, in 2011, the current Prime Minister, David Cameron, promised a complete revolution in government transparency. Well, today, transparency campaigners are saying that this uh, proposal by Mr Gove represents a two-pronged attack uh, which severely threatens and has consequences on the rights of the public to gain information from their government.